Hi, Abram. Four years waiting for this moment. Were you patient and satisfied? <laughs> and it's funny that uh, I was talking to those ladies and what you just said to this young man was, I was looking for that too. So thank you very much. Yeah. I got one more question is, since I'm a little guy, can we conquer gravity? Gravity responds to everyone. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter if you're little or big, gravity, when you walk off the stage, you're going down. Yes, but that's not the question. The question is, can I, when I was little, I developed a little plane and I conquer, I have my engine to conquer the gravity. And I just want to ask you if I go clockwise or unclockwise. That's why my, one of my questions. Well, give us a little more. Esther has been speculating that how fast does she has to go in what direction to stop aging? <laughs> so what are you reaching for? I'm reaching for to be able to fly without a propeller or a jet, just for the light, using light. So here's the most significant thing that we want to say to you. We do that all the time. And when you have your out of body experiences, you do that all the time. Esther flies over mostly golf courses because she likes the wide open spaces and she likes to dive under the bridges. But as your thoughts are turning to things and you've come forward into this physical dimension, the physical dimension has characteristics. Now you're going to think we're a little off the subject, but we're not, we're going to come right back to the specifics of what you want. But this is a very perfect opportunity for us to explain something really important to you and to everyone else. And that is non-physical to physical vibrations, turning to thoughts and thoughts, turning to things in this physical environment where you are having your now manifested moment, there is interpretation of vibration that results in these constants that give you a platform from which to create. And so in order for you to have an experience that is so different from what everyone else is having, you would have to suspend your belief of what is and come at it from a totally different perspective. Now your inner being can do that with you. We want to really finish this subject up about this manifestation because this manifested world, hear this, this will help you. You won't like it, but it will help you. You will like it, but it will help you, but you won't like hearing it, but it will help you. So you will like it. <laughs> this manifested world where all the people are and all the stuff's going on. This is where all the resistance is too. And that gravity that you are talking about is part of that resistance. It's part of that perception, but it is also something that is necessary for your perception, for things to hold together. This leading edge experience exists and you perceive it as you do because so many of you have perceived it this way for so long. And so to ask for something like even a temporary suspension of gravity would be disruptive to so much that it's not likely to happen. It's not going to happen, but from your vibrational state, from your non-physical state, where you are not out here on this manifested edge, you can do all of the flying without being hindered by gravity that you want. So there we go again. We are teaching you that you can be or do or have anything that you want. And then we're saying, but gravity is going to be the way it is as long as you're in this physical form. And you say, well, that doesn't quite square with the idea that I can be or do or have anything that I want. And we say it does square with it because this leading edge time space reality in its state of continual becoming is what all of you want. You don't want it to become unpredictive. You don't want your earth to stop spinning in its orbit to be in perfect proximity to others. And you don't want to be the exception to that either. You see, let's say that here you are in your physical form and that this is a desire that you have identified. And so you've put this desire to be 
free of gravity into your vortex your inner being will take you at your word and take you on the most extraordinary journeys without being hindered by gravity that you could ever begin to understand you could see the world through the eyes of source you could do so much more than just lift up in your physical body we're not kidding you about that everything that you want is possible to you but don't ask for a disruption of everything that has come forward in this manifestation in order to accomplish it. You see what we're getting at? Yes. Great. Enough? Enough. Thank you very much. You were, that was easy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah? I... Why did you raise your hand? Partly to give you appreciation. Yeah, got that before you came up. <laughs> Partly to prove to myself I could be without resistance. Yeah, that was the part we were most excited about. Which was interesting to a process to let go and not try to see if I was letting go. Yeah. And Through the process of what we've been talking about, you were just there. And in the absence of any resistance, we thought this would be the very best moment for you to I, I have a demonstration. Any, yeah. yeah, I gave up any idea of even coming up. Yeah. So I shouldn't even be here today because I was supposed to be in a musical. I was going to play guitar. It was my first big part. I've been practicing for a long time. Yeah. And last weekend, they uh, had our first rehearsal with the whole, all the children and the director. Yeah. And uh, she told me that uh, halfway through that I hadn't learned my part well enough. So they asked me to leave. It's all right. It's all right. I don't groan. Actually, I can tell you why it's all right. But you see, you want to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. And you don't want to be anywhere before you're ready. And a manifestation like that is just saying you're not ready. And that doesn't mean you'll never be ready. And it doesn't mean that you can't get ready. It just means that you're not ready right now. And does anybody really want to be in the middle of something if they're not ready? You don't want to be somewhere if you're not ready. You want to be ready. Don't you? I was sad for maybe 10 minutes. I took yeah. myself to the ocean and yeah. I thought about what I was sad about the most. And I felt it come in me that I really wanted to play with these guys and be a part of the band. Yeah. And then I said, I still want that. And I felt it. Oh, it didn't go away. I felt it launch out of me. Like you talk about launching rockets of desire. It actually felt energy come in. Well, here's the thing. Gain momentum. You're right. And... A manifestation that is not pleasing does cause another rocket of desire. That's what we're talking about. You put another engine on the track going that way. Your desire is stronger. But now the key is don't put another engine going in opposition as you justify that stronger desire. Just go with it. Just say to yourself, I thought I was ready to be ready, but I wasn't ready to be ready, but I can get ready to be ready. And it's fun to get ready to be ready. And when I'm ready to be ready, it will manifest. And you see, here's the thing. Here's what's in your vortex. What's in your vortex is music. What's in your vortex is success with music. What's in your vortex is doing a really good job. What's in your vortex is musical collaboration. What's in your vortex is music appreciation and music respect all of those things are in your vortex in other words in very plain speaking what's in your vortex would not allow you to go and not do a really good job so that director did a better job of channeling your intent than you were because you were going to march right in there and not be as good as you want to be are you following what we're getting at it's sort of like one day a mother sat in the hot seat and she said to us, Abraham, will you give me the words so that I can help my son find a mate? And we said, oh, we don't think that's a very good idea. <laughs> and she said, why not? And we said, because if he gets a mate right now, she'll be just like he is. She also will be unemployed. She will also not have a high regard for herself. She also will be dysfunctional in these ways and they'll just clash with one another until they will break apart. And she said, oh, that's amazing. That's what's been happening. <laughs> in other words, what we were saying, we weren't using the words ready to be ready, but if someone demands a relationship now before they are ready for the relationship they want, then the relationship is not going to be satisfying. It's not going to be pleasing. 
Now we're talking about very minute adjustments here. It doesn't take very much to be ready for what you're wanting to be ready for. In other words, you were not really not ready, but you were not loose and free flowing and sure of yourself. You hadn't sat in a room for nearly three hours and got ready to be ready like you did today. Today, you got ready to sit in the hot seat and we knew when you were ready. We didn't call you before you were ready. We waited until you were ready to direct this play that we're playing together. We waited until you were ready to be ready and any good director. And that one is, is waiting for you to be ready to be ready. So all you got to do is get ready, not be mad at somebody who knows you're not ready. I've been playing actually more since that, that happened. Yeah. It's fueled me. Yeah. It's been awesome. Your desire is stronger. And what our wish for you is, is that while your desire has gotten greater, that your expectation become equally greater too. And that's the whole point of you sitting in this chair today, because we thought that would shore up your belief in your ability to rendezvous with something you want. Really good. Yes. Enough.